hey you all welcome back to yet another video it's been a minute i hope you guys are all good on today's video i'm going to be showing you how to do the longest lasting braid out using these two products i'm gonna show in this video I am starting this braid out on freshly washed hair that is also conditioned. I just washed my hair now and I just put it in these bands just to make sure it doesn't shrink. And then I'm going to be using this As I Am Restore and Repair Jamaican Black Castor Oil Curling Cream and this and Jackie's Don't Shrink Flexi Gel. These two as a combination are very good for the spread out because they make it last longer and also give you definition. I am going to take a small amount of that As I Am curling cream and put it onto a larger section. This As I Am curling cream makes your hair so soft and is also very defining. I've used it in previous videos alone and you can see that it makes beautiful curls that are very defined and bouncy. I'm going to separate the hair into two further sections to put that Aunt Jackie's Flexi Gel onto my hair. This flexi gel will make the hair last longer and also add that much needed definition. I separated the hair into two further sections because I want tighter curls like more of that 4B type curls. They suit me and I just love that look on my hair. When I break down the hair, I am not going into tight. I just make it firm enough just to have that definition, but I do not tighten the braid too much that it hurts or might damage my hair. This and Jackie's gel also helps with elongating the curls. When I get to the end of that braid or maybe let me say the thinner part of my hair, I will just twist that hair at the bottom because it makes it very easy when you're trying to take out a braid out and there's a twist at the end. It's very easy, you won't get a lot of frizz while still having a lot of definition at those thinner parts of your hair. When I get to the end of that braid, I'm going to twirl it using my hand and it's just going to give us also that definition at the end without frizz. I'm going to do these braids all throughout my head. You can see that there's white residue but do not worry about that. It's going to dry down as the hair gets drier and drier. I'm still a bit traumatized by that Cantu curly cream gel that I used in the previous video. This one doesn't give you the same results because you won't get white blobs and white residue when the hair is dry. It's really a great combination. My hair is dry right now. I just air dried it the whole day. I had nothing to do really. So now I'm just going to oil my hands. You can do this to make sure that you experience less frizz when you're taking out a braid out or any type of heatless curls. I'm going to start at the end by untwisting the twist that we did at the bottom. Then I'm going to go up and unbraid the hair carefully and gently without creating a lot of frizz. You can already see the braid definition it's looking so neat shiny and also very bouncy the curls are also firm and feel very soft after i'm done taking out all those braids i'm just going to separate the hair until i have a fuller curly afro I am gentle when separating the curls to make sure that the hair remains defined and also that there is not a lot of frizz with the hair. The hair is very soft, it's easy to separate um, those braids out. This As I Am Curling Cream and Anjaki's Chal Combo is the best. It's actually 
very good because you do not have white residue on your hair the hair is very defined and also it's easy to separate and the hair is very bouncy as well it's not stiff so these products work well together that's how you know that a cream and a gel work perfectly together you can even maybe use it for a wash and go these products like are perfect together i love these curls they're bouncy they're very defined and also they cute they will last you for probably a week if you do put on a certain bonnet at night and also if you don't wet your hair probably so guys that's the end of this video i hope you enjoyed it and we'll be catching the next one do not forget to leave a comment down below on anything because i love reading your comments